Goldilocks and the Three Engineers In a tiny bungalow, there lived a clever thinker. Young Goldilocks invented things. She'd make and craft and tinker. Gadgets that could zip up your coat and tie your tennis shoes. Tools that can seek and find whatever you might lose. But Goldilocks was in a rut. She had an inventor's block. I have no inspiration left. I need to take a walk. In the meantime, three smart bears all worked in preparation for one delicious feast before their winter hibernation. On that hill, said Papa Bear, the honey is best. When we get there, Mama yawned, we'll eat and then we'll rest. When they'd finished up their meal, they spied a bungalow. We could spend the winter there. It's sheltered from the snow. No one's home, said Mama Bear, and opened up the door. The room was full of strange devices, widgets, tools, and more. Look at this, said Papa Bear. A chair made just for you. It feeds you, and it wipes your mouth, and reads you stories too. Oh my goodness, Mama said. A porridge stirring bowl. And this bed rocks you right to sleep, all with a remote control. Baby Bear climbed in the chair. I wish it had some tires. So Papa added four small wheels with nuts and bolts and pliers. Mama put some porridge on. It's over stirred and runny. This concoction simply needs a touch of golden honey. We can't just stay, said Papa Bear. It really isn't right. But now it's dark, said Baby Bear. So maybe just tonight? They crawled in bed and turned it on. It rocked them all about, but then it sped up swung too fast and flipped the bears right out. Baby fixed the engine block, replaced the gears that burned. Soon the bears were fast asleep. Then Goldilocks returned. Who's been reading in my chair? And now it rolls around. I'll admit, this makes more sense and it covers lots of ground. Who's been eating my porridge here? It's creamier somehow. Oh, there's honey in the mix. It tastes much better now. Goldilocks heard snoring sounds and followed cautiously. Who's that sleeping in my bed and staring back at me? Yikes! The bears all cried at once. We know how this appears. We truly couldn't help ourselves. We're three bear engineers. The three bears then explained themselves. We hope you'll understand, for as you know, experiments don't always go as planned. You've improved my projects here, and made them much more fun, proving that four brains, by far, are better than just one. Perhaps what I was looking for was not more inspiration, but engineers to team with me and bring their innovation. Goldilocks and these three bears exchanged ideas all night. Their teamwork triumphed in the end, and things turned out just right. Soon the three bears had to leave. We'll meet up in the spring. And when we do, said Goldilocks, we'll make the next big thing.